Good morning, everyone. Welcome back into North Dakota today. Well, we are talking with Kristen today about the North Dakota Association of Physicians Assistants. Welcome. Thank you. So tell us, what really is this organization? So this is a state organization, or our North Dakota Academy of PAs, uh, to help celebrate the PA profession in North Dakota. Exciting. So what does this really mean to you as a physician's assistant? So I've been a PA for about 16 years, mm -hmm. um, and I love taking care of patients, and I think this organization really promotes access to care and gives us an opportunity to really celebrate those who take care of our patients here mm -hmm. uh, in North Dakota. Exciting, and you have a big week coming up. Tell us about it. Yes, yeah, so every year from October 6th through the 12th, uh, we celebrate National PA Week. Um, so really celebrating those PAs that are contributing to the health of our people uh, in the United States. So how long have you been in this profession? So I started um, 16 years ago mm -hmm. um, working in primary care, so in internal medicine. And in the last couple years, I've moved to actually teaching. So wow. I'm a professor up at the University of North Dakota in Grand Forks in our Department of PA Studies. Exciting. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you to really be able to educate the next generation of PAs? Oh, I think it's fascinating. I love to see people who are excited and ready to learn, and they have such a passion to take care of people mm -hmm. um, and really educate them about how important lifestyle is. So focusing on activity and our nutrition mm -hmm. and making sure that we're taking care of ourselves um, so that we can contribute. Absolutely, because this is such a physically, emotionally demanding job. It is, and one of the biggest things I think we face in healthcare is that you know we have a lot of burnout and a lot mm -hmm. of stress. Um, and so I'm, I'm inspired that we get hundreds of applicants uh, who want to be PAs and take care of patients um, and know that it's a tough profession, but that they really want to be out there and provide care. Absolutely, and how exciting being able to really see the passion while you're educating, it's wonderful. It is, it's so cool. And you know, nationally we have 168,000 PAs mm -hmm. and over 350 of those practice right here in North Dakota. Um, so it's so exciting and as we talk about National PA Week, we're celebrating you know, 60 years uh, of our profession. And mm -hmm. so in the scheme of things that's relatively young, um, but so exciting that we could use people who had a passion for medicine and skill sets to transition them into such a, an important role. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's wonderful. I didn't realize that so many were in North Dakota. Yeah, so, um, and interestingly enough, you know, the profession started in the late 1960s mm -hmm. um, at Duke, but the North Dakota PA program was one of the, the earliest programs in the United States. Wow. And we've had over 2,000 graduates who practice all over the United States. Um, and of course, our mission is to keep them here. So mm -hmm. we love to take people who have a passion for primary care health um, and rural health. And so taking those students, giving them um, a great education, and then hoping they stay here and practice right here in North Dakota. Wonderful. Well, this week is coming up. What's on the list of events? Is there anything really exciting that you're looking forward to? So nationally, the campaign is that PAs go beyond. Mm -hmm. So we go beyond the basics and we really help our patients to reach their health goals. Um, PAs practice in any setting from nursing homes and clinics to hospitals and emergency rooms to assisting in surgery um, and in all types of specialties. So I just think it's exciting that we can celebrate this week. Um, the other thing that North Dakota Academy has promoted um, two commercial spots that'll be on TV. Oh wow. Talking about the PA profession and how exciting it is to be. And then of course our local health systems are all celebrating their, their PAs too. Mm -hmm. Well, you spoke a little bit about what a PA actually does. Mm -hmm. Do you want to really go more into that? Sure. So um, PAs are licensed medical professionals mm -hmm. um, who have had usually um, a bachelor's prepared degree or a health career who decide to go back and they really want to contribute to that um, immediate patient care. Um, so they attend PA school for two to three more years. Um, and after that, they really contribute to that healthcare team. Mm -hmm. So working with physicians and nurse practitioners and pharmacists and nurses and all that whole healthcare team to make sure that that patient is really well taken care of. Um, and like I said, they practice um, primary care, so they may be your primary care provider, working on education and prevention, 
all the way up to assisting in surgeries um, and to working with patients even at the end of their life through palliative care. Wow. So PAs can do all um, and definitely PAs go beyond. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us, Kristen. Yes, thank you. Of course. All right, everyone stick around. We have Cooking with Cashway up next on North Dakota Today.